This project explores the design of a flood-resilient coastal settlement in Paradox, Cornwall. Through this study, the coastal management strategy of Embrace is considered, wherein, rather than receding the line of inhabitation or defending using a single fixed threshold, a multi-layer threshold is applied that comprises of both soft and hard sea defences. In this approach, medium and high-risk flood zones are inhabited, but only for a time duration, thereby harnessing the value of being close to the water, whilst also employing an underlying strategy for managed realignment. A number of strategies are embedded in this approach. Firstly, cellular water bodies have been designed to segment the transition of wave movement inland, helping to diminish wave energy and lessen its impact on the urban form. Using soft defence measures such as coastal nourishment enables the protection of paradox through non-disruptive means, without inhibiting natural sediment flow paths. An adaptable defensive barrier is also proposed, which can be open and closed to enable access and views out to sea during regular conditions, whilst also providing protection during extreme events. Embedding a strategy for phased realignment serves to reduce the risk of a lock-in by restricting the duration of inhabitation in high and medium risk flood zones. To achieve this, these zones will be designated as leasehold rather than freehold land parcels, limiting the duration of occupancy and helping facilitate a controlled and timely transition to manage realignment. So at the block and high street scale, this may mean that to begin with the ground floor unit functions as a cafe or a shop, but as levels of risk increase, its function may be adapted to become a boat shed or a store. This embedded flexibility will allow the community to benefit economically, environmentally and experientially from remaining close to the water's edge in the short term and enable them to adapt to changing levels of risk over time. Incorporating both light and heavyweight structures creates variation in the permanency of built form and provides scope for a diverse range of materials, functions and occupancy through adaptation. Designing access at multiple levels provides closer interaction with the water's edge, helps integrate the scheme vertically and enables safe retreat and egress during a flooded condition. Raising the services or utilities such as waste, power and water throughout the development reduces the time taken for the settlement to return to an operative state. By creating diffuse patterning, permanent structures on the water's edge are configured in an attenuating pattern to reduce the velocity and stability of waves as they move further inland. Finally, designing on contour helps the community orientate themselves throughout the town and to the shoreline. This provides a clear structure and hierarchy of flooded sections throughout the settlement and during the realignment process. The result is a town which remains open to the sea while safe from it.